ないぞ When people tell me, Governor, the democracy in West Bengal is breathing last, barely surviving, it is cliff hanging. Human rights violations are rampant, and as regards corruption. Honorable Calcutta High Court on 21st February 2022. I am quoting the High Court. Syndicate and mafia is operational in every nook and corner of the state. This is what the High Court says. That syndicate and mafia has a stranglehold on every business. 
the judgment of Calcutta High Court was challenged before Supreme Court by the state government. The state government did not succeed. I asked the media, did you report it? Did you make the people aware about it? Search your souls. Where are we heading? Such a finding that Mafia Raj, Syndicate Raj is in every nook and corner of the state. Finding of the High Court, not disturbed by the Supreme Court. And media keeps quiet on it. Unless you diagnose a problem, you cannot solve the problem. Diagnosis has taken place by judiciary. We have never seen careers being destroyed of thousands of boys and girls because of corruption, illegalities, in teacher recruitment. Every day I am bothered, concerned, and in pain. Skeletons are coming out of the cupboards. And the channel of corruption is going like a creeper up to the highest level. This should have been moment for media. A scam is ballooning every day, attaining explosive dimensions the country has never seen such kind of scam in recruitment. We cannot play with the lives of those young people, boys and girls, who prepare for an examination, take interview, and suddenly what they find? Employment is given to those who never participated in the examination. Employment is given to those who are not in the merit list. Employment, as reported, is being given for consideration. And now to divert attention, I gather from media every day. They have brought some changes. The changes is that the governor must be removed and the chief minister be substituted in place of the governor for various bodies, including for appointment of vice chancellors and who should be the chancellor. I will consider all these bills legally. I will consider all these bills according to constitution. I will consider all these bills taking note of the situation that education is in the concrete list. I will examine these bills in the perspective of University Grants Commission Act. I will pay attention to these bills after taking note of Supreme Court decisions, I will act 100% in accordance with law. But I am appalled when members of the opposition tell me that they are trying to create a new post. The state of West Bengal must have same person as governor and chief minister. That is the ultimate object. This can't happen. We are society governed by law. Your governor is servant of Indian constitution and servant of the people of West Bengal. Your governor will take command only and only from the constitution. I will not examine these bills with any rancor, anger, bias or prejudice. 
I will examine these goods from the perspective of law. If I will find the bills merit acceptance, I will do it. If I find the bills are in transgression of constitution, in transgression of law, in transgression of central act, in violation to Supreme Court judgments, I would still interact with the government and try to find a way out. But I will not bend the constitution. I will not allow constitutional assent and spirit to be diluted. The entire nation was feeling glorified. Input was taken from lakhs of people, professors, vice chancellors, students in having national education policy. We don't have it in Bengal. This is destroying the education of Bengal. It is destroying the future of the students of Bengal. Several of the actions, some of them are before judiciary, I don't want to go into it. They think Bengal is governed not by rule of law, but by law of the ruler. I have taken a very strong view regarding appointment of vice chancellors. Without the sanction of the governor, who is the chancellor, each issue is under my focus attention. If I have a right to appoint, I know how to protect that right and how to hold others accountable. I cannot allow the state of West Bengal to be run like a state within a state. I cannot fiddle in Raj Bhavan when I find it has all the contours and elements of a police state. Ours is a rich state with good people, enormously talented people. It has all the makings of big economic leap. But can this happen under tight fist control? Can it happen? When our bureaucracy is only political party workers, I make no bones about it. Such a scenario, alarming and disturbing, is nowhere seen in any part of the country. Right from the top, the chief secretary down the line, they act as political workers. For every small thing, even if a governor wants a pin, they must get clearance. The bureaucracy has forgotten its conduct regime. It has forgotten that there is constitutional law in the country. They are supine, emasculated, subservient workers of the ruling dispensation. The media will take my message loud and clear, act in public interest, act as powerful for the state, and be a strong pillar of democracy, not its weakness. Thank you.